Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is technically part two. I just shared with you all of the candles that I've burned up lately. And now I want to do a quick and easy tutorial with you for how to get all of that leftover wax out of the candle when it won't burn anymore. And it's such a shame to lose all of that wax. It still smells amazing and we can still get our money's worth out of it. So let's head out. I'm going to quickly convert this into wax melts and you will see how easy it is to enjoy all of your money's worth out of your candles. So there are a few different techniques for doing this. My favorite is just to use a pot with a bit of water in it. That way, super easy. You can do it all at the stove top. I have these candles that I'm going to be working with and I have a little mold. You can get these in all different shapes, which can be really fun to play with. I just found this at the Japanese dollar store Daiso. You could probably find it at Dollar Tree or whatever dollar store you have as well. Or I can link some off of Amazon. So I have this water not quite boiling. It's just got little bubbles starting to form. I'm going to very carefully set the candle jar into the water. You want to make sure that your water level isn't so high that it's going to spill into the candle jar and get water mixed into your wax would be kind of a mess. And it doesn't take much. I'll go ahead and put the lid on it. You don't really have to, but just to help it kind of seal the heat in there and let that wax melt. Okay, just about four minutes later and the wax has melted. My water actually got up to boiling, which was not necessary. I just turned it down a bit. But obviously you wanna be extremely cautious at this point. Everything's gonna be really hot. I have some very high temperature heat proof gloves and I also have some tongs. So make sure you're using whatever you need to to be safe during this step. But since I have these good gloves, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the candle jar out. You can see all of that is completely melted. The wicks are kind of just floating around the bottom of the jar now. And side note, this step will make your house smell amazing. My husband just called from the other room and something smells really good like candles. <laughs> I think he was surprised because he thought I was baking in here. But now that we have this completely liquid wax, we can just pour it into our mold and make the reform the wax into new shapes to be used in the wax warmer. Well, this already looks a little bit like a crime scene, <laughs> but this stage can be kind of messy as you're trying to pour the wax into the warmers. And I don't usually fill them all the way up. I went ahead and filled up those first two cups just to make the most of how many molds I can get out of this. But even just filling it about halfway so it's a nice depth will work perfectly. So I just made those out of two of the three wick candles. And these have been burned up all the way to the point where the wicks would no longer light. But as you can see, there's still a ton of good, delicious smelling wax at the bottom of the candles. So that made pretty generous sized eight wax melts. So I'm just gonna leave them in there so that they can kind of take on their new shape and re-solidify and then they'll be ready to go. And I also have a separate video on how to clean out candle jars so you can reuse them. But I'll go ahead and make the point that right now is obviously the perfect time to do that. The wicks are just completely loose. You can easily fish those out and then just wash the candle really well, the jar, so that you have a nice clean jar at the end. So perfect to be repurposed for other things. You can take the label off. It's just a nice clean glass jar. So I just stepped away for a little bit and these have hardened. It actually took longer than it needed to because I filled these to the brim and they're pretty deep. But this makes it super easy to just pop them out because it's this little silicone mold. So it just pops right out. But that's actually a pretty huge wax melt. I definitely didn't need to fill it to the top, but it'll be a nice little dose of wax that I can put on my wax warmer. So I'll show you how that goes. And I'm just gonna finish making a few more, popping them out of these molds. It's super easy to get these out. And they smell amazing. Here's a little status update. It's amazing how much wax you can get out of quote unquote empty candles. I've made all of these already. I just filled up a tray of pumpkin scent and this would go a lot faster if I had more than one tray. De definitely recommend getting a few molds if, if that's in your budget. Um, also, it's really fun because you can get cute different shapes like little teddy bears or holiday shapes, things like that. Um, but I just have this one mold. <laughs> so a way you can speed up the process is to put it in the freezer to let the wax harden in there. It goes really fast then. And then I just keep popping it out and making more. I've got another candle in the works here, melting this one that has a lot of wax left in it. And it's just actually a very satisfying, very soothing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish working through the candles that I wanted to 
clean out today and making all of the wax molds that I can. And then I will show you for our final step how to use these in a wax warmer. And I just wanted to mention, of course, you could also make more candles. You could get candle wicks, you could even refill the empty candle jars. Once you're at the stage where it's empty, it's super easy just to knock out the old wick and you could place a new wick in there and pour this in. You can make a layered candle with a lot of different scents as you burn it. There's so many options and it's just such a great opportunity to reuse things instead of just wasting them. It's an age-old thing. I have a book from the 1940s where they talk about how to make candles out of half-used candles. So it's just a great way to reduce and reuse. So I'm going to stick this in the freezer and then make this last batch and get to warming up these wax melts. Welcome to my powder room. I know the lighting in here kind of looks like we're going to develop film, <laughs> but it's actually just my cozy and cozy ambient lighting, part of which is my wax warmer. So let me show you how I'm going to be using these glorious little pucks of wax. It smells so good. I'm very proud of all that we were able to salvage. And let me show you how I use it. So here is my beloved wax warmer. I really like this both as like a nightlight and just a way to make the room, whatever room you're in, smell amazing. Um, it has some old wax in it. So unlike with candles where the wax will burn up and disappear, in a wax warmer the wax stays there, it just loses its scent eventually. So it's time to get rid of this and there's a few ways that you can do that. You could just dump it out. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is you could even put a wick in there turn it off so that it hardens and then lift it out and you'd have like a candle. It wouldn't smell good, but it still would burn up. That's a crazy option. You could pour this wax into um, like a candle mold to make candles out of it. All sorts of options. Another really good thing is to put cotton balls in there to soak up the wax. I don't have any cotton balls, but I'm gonna need some cotton pads. And then these also make good fire starters. So if you have a fireplace, you can save them for that. If you go camping, something along those lines. Just a way to soak up this wax. And then, like I said, you can also just pour it out and just wipe out this little dish that's on top of the wax warmer. But as you can see, those three cotton pads completely soaked up the last of that wax. So I can leave those out to harden and then they could be good little fire starters. But now we're ready for some fresh wax that's gonna smell amazing to go on there. And I actually filled out an empty cleaned out candle jar with some of my brand new wax warmers that we made today. It just feels so productive and great to have these. They smell amazing. They're so cute. And like, is this not just the circle of life right here? We have like a candle jar turned into storage for salvaged candle remnants. Like this is just such a beautiful circle of life. So these are really a nice big size that I made and I can just set one, or let's do two. There's a few different sizes. There's like a thinner one that I did. I'm gonna just set those in there and then as they start to melt, they'll smell amazing. And one thing that's great about wax warmers is you don't have to supervise it quite as religiously because it's obviously not an open flame but you do need to follow all of the safety precautions. <laughs> but I just love being able to leave this so that when I come back into the room, it will smell amazing. That is winter candy apple scent from Bath Body Works. It's gonna melt, get so yummy and good on there. And I have like a lifetime supply of wax now that I repurposed my candles. So the opportunities are endless. So thank you so much for joining me for another fabulous adventure into the world of candles and wax and all things that smell amazing and make us feel cozy and warm and happy in our little nests. It's just so special to me. I love it all so much. So thanks for joining. Hit subscribe if you want more videos like this. We talk about candles kind of a lot um, and just other things along the lines of just coziness and goodness. And I will be back soon with our next video. So I will see you then. Bye.